So this molecule is benzaldehyde and this is reacting with NaOH. What will be the product in this reaction? Benzaldehyde has no alpha hydrogen So this will undergo Kaninjaro reaction. In the first step, we will have nucleophilic attack by OH minus. And the next step is hydride transfer. So hydrogen with bond pair of electron get transferred to another benzaldehyde molecule. And finally, we will have acid and alkoxide ion as product. Alkoxide ion is a strong base. So, we will have acid base reaction. So alkoxide ion will abstract a proton and it will form alcohol. And sodium salt of acid. So final product is alcohol and sodium salt of acid. If you see the overall reaction, we have two molecules of benzaldehyde. One molecule gets oxidized and other molecule gets reduced. So we can say Kaninjaro reaction is a redox reaction. Now let us consider this reaction. So we have this molecule and this is reacting with NaOH. What will be the product in this reaction? Once again, this compound has no alpha hydrogen. So in this case, we will have Kaninjaro reaction. So first step is nucleophilic attack by OH minus. So OH minus is acting as a nucleophile. And we will have this product.
Now in the next test step, we will have phenyl transfer. So phenyl group with a bond pair of electron get transferred to another carbonylic carbon. This is basically intramolecular. So we have intramolecular phenyl transfer. And finally we will have this product. Now this part of molecule is a base and this part of molecule is acid. So we will have intramolecular acid base reaction. So this takes a proton and finally we will have this product. So if you see overall reaction, we have this product. If you see this part of molecule is oxidized because this carbon initially having one oxygen now has two oxygen and this part of molecule is reduced. So basically this is an example of intramolecular redox reaction. We can also say this is intramolecular Kanin-Jaro reaction. 